Hello dear ladies, my name is Jack Sipticoy and welcome back to The Sims 4! We're still out and about in our getaway, in our outdoor retreat. Bitty, if you need to piss, go! There's a whole lake over there! Just go over and squat down and you'll be fine. Uh, Betty, can you put on some clothes, please? We're out camping. We're, we're, we're it's not spring break. <laughs> oh, you're talking. Okay, I thought you were going to get in bed beside Bella. <laughs> what are we talking about? Washes a breeze. Flashes it. Oh gosh, <laughs> the dude just ran away. Okay, end of that conversation, I guess. Oh, we're not playing this game again, are we? You suck at it. You all suck at it. I don't even think there's a way of be doing this right, is there? Because every time you click on it, it's just a practice. Um, join game. J just join game and see what happens. Can we actually play? Can we win this? She almost did it. What's your name? Eliza Pancakes. Is she related to J Zesty Johnny? Betty steps up to the plate in her pink bikini. She aims. She th throws. She sucks a big old bag of dicks, but she's happy about it anyway. Okay, so we need to. Uh, we need to bring down the age of Steve. He's too old. He's a he's a big elder now, and he needs to come back. Otherwise, he's gonna die. And if Steve dies, this whole series just dies because Steve is the man of the show. He's so sexy. He's so beastly. He so needs to piss. Go do it. We're going to edit him. I, I know there was an aging potion that I could have got, but I don't want to spend so much time going off to get that. So we're just going to edit him in the in the edit mode. And oh, look at that stern face. So we go back to adult. Oh yeah. There he is. What did he look like as a young adult? As a as a teen? We can see like the life of Steve. You were a sexy young man. What were you like as a boy? Oh, you were an annoying little douchebag. <laughs> Where's your beard go? No, I refuse. You need beardage. Okay, so now we'll actually mess them around because I want to I want to change my sims again because it's boring looking at the same thing over and over again. I want to give them different outfits, different hairstyles, different faces. You look at those blue sexy eyes though. I could just get lost in them. See, blah! Snap out of it, Steve, he's just a character. He may be the most sexy man ever alive, but he's just a video game character. Oh, look and fresh and clean, Steve. Because he, he, he had a big beard, but he needs to shave it off a small bit. Because he's going to smell when he's out camping. What else can we do? Oh my god. You look like Robin Thicke. Oh god. I know you want it. I know you want it. <laughs> now you look like a K-pop star. No. I'm just testing out the hairstyles. See what suits him. Here we go! There it is! There's the Steve I know and love! Oh yes, look at that rugged handsome face! Oh, I want to be all up in his business! Let's make you more muscular, and... Can we make you a bit bigger? Oh god, oh god, no! <laughs> Are you proud of that belly? No, he needs to be an absolute beast! Like, when you see Steve come walking at you, you're going to be like... If you're a girl, you're going to be like... And if you're a guy, you're either going to want to be him, or you want to get the fuck out of his way. What the hell is this? It's, oh, I can't click on the name of it. What? Are, what is this? You look like something out of like the old Republic or something. Oh! Oh, the bear costume is in it. Oh, I so want to be a bear. Oh, okay. We will make somebody else a bear, maybe, because I don't want Steve to be a bear. Steve is too sexy to hide. He is the goofiest, and he would he would model that the best, but you can't hide his ruggedness. Say hello to the new and improved Steve. He's hipper, he's younger, but he's not gonna know what hit her. She's gonna be like, oh, my husband got old before his time. And then he, she wakes up and all of a sudden this sort of a man just walks up to her like, Hey baby, you wanna go? They're gonna woohoo in the tent. Actually, let's change around some other characters. Who's gonna be our bear? I don't think the girls can dress up as the bear. Why? That would have been awesome! We need another man in this family! That's what somebody said in the comments actually, and I agree with them. Because Steve is the only guy left, because I killed Tiberius. Um, we could kill one of the twins. Um, <laughs> because it's kind of annoying having two of the almost the exact same character. Well, two of the exact same looking characters. Um, because they don't really add anything. And replace it with a guy. That means they're probably gonna have to woohoo, try for a baby. Yeah, Steve can do it! Steve can inseminate her again. Ah, that sounds gross. Okay, but we're gonna have to change your hair because I, I don't really like it. I don't I don't like how short it is. Ooh. And we need to differentiate you as well because the two of you have the exact same hair. Okay, that'll do you. There. That's cute hair, right? Yeah, she looks nice and sporty because she's an outdoors one. So she wouldn't have too long hair because all the bugs and everything get caught up in it. Ooh. 
Uh -huh, pretty lady. We're gonna make Betty look like this, actually. Like, she's got a bit of a... She's got a bit of... I don't know what this is. This is like me oh. simulating that the hair is covering my eye. Um, but Betty's got that bit of a sly mischievous going on to her. Because she's a criminal, isn't she? Hooray! Everybody's back to normal. Well, some people are back to normal. Some people have different hair now. <laughs> Everything looks good. Betty, will you put on some damn clothes? Change outfit. You are going to... Everyday one. There we go. Back to normal. And Bella! You change your freaking clothes as well. Why are you all walking around in like your undies and everything? There we go. That is not every day. So I really should have changed your outfit as well. What? What's athletic one? Eh. I mean, it's better than going around in a fancy red dress. You're not Jessica Rabbit. Bella. Good lord. Everything Bella has. She's like, she's like that person like that you meet. It's like, oh, I don't have um, casual wear. I just go around in dresses and sport outfits with my perfectly sculpted chocolate abs. Can we go woohoo? Yes! Try for a baby. Why does it say try for a baby with? Can you have like multiple women? Like multiple wives? Okay, we're gonna go try for a baby with Betty. We're go we have to have a new baby. A new baby boy. Oh wait, what if it's not a baby boy? If it's not a boy, I need to get rid of it somehow, but oh, that's awful! Oh, She's talking about cake! Oops. She knows Steve's true heart! Cake is the source of all happiness! Why are you sitting oh. on the ground? What are you doing? <laughs> she is for her posture. She has a bad back. Okay, keep clicking. Um... Woohoo! No, we need to try for a baby. You! Me! A baby making time! Oh, yes! Robot. Yes! <laughs> you guys were so in sync! Where are you gonna do it? Oh, I don't look fucking excited or anything. Oh no, gotta go sleep with my husband. Gotta make more babies. Break out the candles, make it romantic. Oh. Steve McBoss is about to woohoo for the first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Cause you kind of reset them back to adulthood. Okay, so he's woohooing for the first time. If he makes a baby out of this, he's a he's a he's most. Oh God, what's the word? Most fertile man. That's it. Yeah, there's a there's a film called The Most Fertile Man in Ireland. <laughs> it's it's a kind of a weird film. Steve, it wasn't a race or anything. It's kind of like letting the people down. You you were in bed for like five minutes. Are you, are you proud of yourself? Well, Betty's sleeping. She must be pooped. She must have got all she needed out of it. Steve just has to go eat. It's this sim that we're gonna have to get rid of. I know! I know! All of you out there are now thinking, Jack, don't kill her! She has to go! She is a thorn in the McBoss's side. She is not part of this family. She did have a banging booty, but I mean, there's more to life than a booty. Damn! Sister got the booty too! Holy shit! When you see that booty... <laughs> How about you go swimming, huh? Just go swimming. Nothing bad is gonna happen, I swear. And it's time to like, reinvigorate the series as well, because I'm doing too many things too normally. I should be killing people. I should be bringing people into the family. I should be dressing up as bears. I should have a 14, no, not a 14 member family, because that's kind of going against what I want. Don't worry about it, Abby. Nothing bad is happening. This is for your own safety. I'm making a bomb shelter, because you're gonna die otherwise. There we go. You get your own little private swimming pool. It's also gonna be your grave. <laughs> oh, I feel horrible for doing it, but I need to whittle out the family. And you, you did not belong. Why? Because you're wearing a hat in a swimming pool. And not the hat that you're supposed to wear. You're wearing like a fucking summer hat. Go hiking. Steve, you wanna go hiking as well? I, I wonder if there's like places around that you could go to. Like if there's secret caves, or there's a Bigfoot, or a big face, or something like that. Where did she go? Oh, she's off hiking. Where are we going? This is a nice place. This is cool. I wish there was a Sims game where you didn't have to like click on everything to go around. Like, I know I have to control the camera and everything, but I wish like when you clicked on the Sims you had an option to like walk around with WASD yourself. Instead of having to wait for them to walk around in the places. Is that it? Is that as far as we can go? Yeah. Ooh! I knew there had to be some secrets or something around. Explore! Yeah! Go Steve! Explore that shit, man! Where are you? Oh god, you're freaking miles away from it. No, stop hiking. You gotta go to the thing. Hello, oh, squirrel! Squirrel! You're not a squirrel, though. What are you? You're like a chipmunk. Look at him go! Holy shit, that's a fast motherfucker. And he just vanished. It was a ghost squirrel, chipmunk, kookaburra. That's a bird. <laughs> go, go explore the hole. 
I knew there had to be some stuff around. You couldn't just have like a forest without like a hole or like a, a secret pond or something. Steve? Steve? Steve! Oh god, where'd he go? Steve? Steve! Explore the brambles! Retreat from adventure. No! You do not back down! McBosses strive forward! I don't know where you are though. After several minutes of hacking furiously through the bush, brush, a large web is blocking Steve's way. Oh no, a web. If only there was a way of destroying them. Steve feels he's on the verge of finding something special. This is awesome! This is like, like when you go to space and you get all the messages back. Something to make this all worth it, but it's quickly tiring. Should see- yeah, nap. We take a nap in the deep dark cave. Waking up feeling refreshed, Steve noticed something scurrying on the ground. A ravenous tick. What? Steve has navigated the nigh- the nigh-foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove. <gasps> yeah! Where is he? Would you like to send Steve into the deep woods? Okay. Awesome! Where are we gonna end up? This better be- this better be cool. There better be like Dracula or something the far side. Steve! Oh. This is shit! This is literally just another area. Like, I'm back at houses now. Hey, there's a lady over here. Is she a witch? Is she the Wicked Witch of the West? Tamika Redding. Uh. Friendly introduction. You're like Radagast the Brown, just sitting out here on your own. What's up, Broomhilda? Oh. How are you? Are you gonna teach me some spells? It would be so cool if you could actually do that. If they like didn't take it so seriously and you could go through the brambles and you ended up in like a big deep dark forest and the wicked witch's house was just sitting there. And you had to go up and sell a part of your soul to get evil spells to kill all your family. Now now what's happening is really disappointing because I've like built up something in my head that's so much cooler. There's nothing even here. I mean the cliffs are over there. There's just grass around. Steve has needs to level 4 of the comedy skill. Great! There's houses... Man, when we were going through the brambles, I thought there was going to be something awesome out here. I thought we were going to end up in like, a really deep dark forest. We just ended up at someone's house. Should we fish while we're here? I mean, we might catch something. Maybe I can catch the witch, and then she'll teach me spells. Why, why am I thinking about spells? It's like fucking Harry Potter. <gasps> there should be a Harry Potter expansion pack. Oh, and also the the work pack. I said that it was either this or the work pack to get, and I didn't think the work one was going to be fun. But it's not even out yet. It's not out till April. It, the the thing I saw was just a trailer for it. So this is the only one out for now. So we might as well play this. How cool would it be if I fished and caught a mermaid? Like Ariel came up on it or something. What the hell was that thing? That thing had like big tendrils on it. I want to find like an octopus or a kraken or a megalodon. Why are your games so held back? Like, put in easter eggs in all your games, please. Steve, this is boring. Let's stop. Let's head back to our family. Um, they were up in the top right area. This place. Yeah, go there. Go alone. You don't need to go anywhere. I could have brought the girl that was there, the lady that I found. She might have actually found civilization then. Because she's living out on her own. She's like a crazy cat lady. She's out in the middle of the forest all on her own with her little chipmunk friends. Actually, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put down a stove. Because we need to cook something. We need to cook a cake. Here we go. I love how I can just bring up stuff out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, cook a cake. Wh why not? There's no available fridge. Oh, okay. We need a fridge! <laughs> don't panic, everybody! Uh, matching fridge. It's gonna tell me I don't have something else now, isn't it? Cook a cake. Cook a cake. Yeah! We're gonna cook a cake, and we're gonna- we're gonna- Upgrade Abby! We're gonna evolve her. She's gonna turn into a charmeleon. Not you, though. You're- you're gonna stay here and die. Don't tell me you're going in to prepare the ingredients in here. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> All because I didn't have a little platform outside. There was tables everywhere. You could've used them. Oh God, look at the little frog. That's a weird ass frog. You were a master chef, holy shit. Go away, you didn't see anything. This is for your soon to be birthday. This The Sims is like real life. The way you want real life to be. You want birthday every day. You want Christmas every day. Like that's what people always say. In The Sims, you can make it happen. It's like, you know what? I feel like growing up today. Let's get older. And cake. And cake. Where the fucking cake at, man? Cake. Hooray. Now put the cake down. We gotta add candles to it. Here we go. Add birthday candles. Whoosh. Do it. 
Whoosh! You're a wizard! Okay, now you come over here and blow out the candles. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! I don't give a shite! Blow out the candles and grow up! Here we go! You have strong lungs! Woo! Are you an adult now? Ooh, yes! Thank Check out my new arms! They got longer! <laughs> um, you are going to be... Huh? What should we make you? Hot-headed dynamite hates children. You're gonna be creative and active and you love outdoors. So she's gonna like make something awesome outside someday. Ah, Yay! <laughs> Bella's just eating her hamburger like, Woo! Your birthday! No one gives a shit! <laughs> Steve, buddy, are you hungry? Yeah, Steve, take a slice of cake. Take a slice of cake, Steve, I know you love it. Steve is- Steve is just like me. He loves cake. Cake is life. If you just want to be happy forever, just eat cake all day. I mean, sure, you'll turn into a fat bastard, but it's fine. Sunday, Monday, birthday cake. Tuesday, Wednesday, birthday cake. Friday, Saturday, birthday cake. S I- I skipped the day. Sunday, Monday, birthday cake. Tuesday, Wednesday, birthday cake. Thursday, Friday, birthday cake! Saturday, what a cake! Gonna eat cake with you! This cake is ours! This happy cake! Go oh, happy cake! <laughs> I'm not looking forward to seeing that remix. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Are you even nearly dead? Technically, so much time in the water should have like, shriveled you up into a little prune by this stage. Come on, I'm waiting for death. Sure is a snore fest. Oh, what's that? You need to pee? It's okay. Just just turn the water yellow. It's fine. Come on, pee. I want to see what happens. Death is here. Somebody died. Is Abby dead? She just disappeared. <laughs> she literally just vanished. Hey, death! What's up, bro? Good lord! She... I thought you were supposed to be like, oh, I'm from hell and from the underworld. Let's kill people. You're supposed to know how to handle fire. If you can't handle fire, then who can? Steve, go talk to him. Oh no! No! He disappeared before Steve could get to him. God damn it. Well, at least we're one family member down now. That works. <laughs> Somebody broke the toilet. C come on! This isn't even our house. What are you doing? Energy failure. What? Where are you? <laughs> the toilet just collapsed. Steve, please fall. Please fall next to them. I think you're having an energy failure as well. No, he's gonna eat. <laughs> There's beds over there you can be sleeping in. But the toilet just collapsed there. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> and Steve fell over now. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. It's fine. Why aren't you people sleeping? Go back to lodging. Come on. Everybody go home. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 71 grand. What the fuck? Steve! Steve pay bills! Oh my god! Holy shit! That's like NASA's budget! When they blow up shit! When NASA's like, a failed rocket launch! Cost them that much. Actually, probably cost several million. Did we do it? Our bills paid? Good Christ! Betty is in the shitter. Are you taking a pregnancy test? Can I take a pregnancy test? Aw oh man, I don't think I can actually take one. Oh hi! You feeling okay? I don't think I can take one while I'm here. Oh! Betty's pregnant! Oh, okay, she did it all on her own, because she was back here at the lodge with Bitty, uh, while my other guys were off at camping. Yay, she's pregnant! Hooray! What the hell are you doing? Maybe she just, maybe she's not happy that she's pregnant. She's just sitting out here all on her own, staring, wondering about life. Betty, are you feeling okay? I think she, oh, she's, she's cloud gazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was going nuts, just sitting on a bench. Looking at a wall, and then she lay down on the ground. I see that bump. I've seen that bump before. We're gonna change outfits so we can maybe see it a bit better. There's that bump. <laughs> yeah, go jogging. It's good to go jogging when you're pregnant. It, it keeps you active, keeps you healthy, keeps the baby healthy as well, I think. <laughs> I, I ain't no OBGYN. Wait, if we change outfit to swimwear, does it show the belly? Oh, kind of does. Awesome! Because I've always had like tops on whenever they got pregnant. I just wanted to see if I could actually see the baby bump. Cool! Now you can head back home. Go home, Betty. Betty, go home. We have a new member of the family. No, she didn't have a baby. I didn't go that far ahead. Um, well, we do have a new member of the family. More specifically, Stevie Bear! Look at him! He's so awesome. He's so cute. Don't you just want to go up and smuggle, nuggle, fuggle his face? 
Fuggling his face sounds bad, but snuggling his face sounds awesome. He's such a cutie little bear. <laughs> he's walking weird. Oh, he's got a pee. No, you're supposed to be eating salmon. You're supposed to go down to the lake and like, uh -huh. like eating salmon that way. You're not a human. Oh, uh, say, Betty, have you ever tried to eat a burger with beer paws? It's really hard. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. I'd imagine your ass gets very itchy inside a bear outfit like that. Come on, that does it for this episode of The Sims 4. We will come back next time, and hopefully Betty will have her child. Hopefully it's a baby boy, and we can have another boy in the family, and then we can have two bears running around. That'd be awesome! And the bear outfit doesn't not, it comes with, like, this DLC, so I can use it when I'm back at home, when the holiday is over. Yeah, and I think I can actually still use tents and everything when I'm back home, which is gonna be fun. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss, and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. The auto erotic of Benjamin Franklin, Mayor's Town. Six slugs for Mario. You read and why are my doors all boarded up? Oh, 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 oh! You suck!